Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain how to set up a start stop schedule for application gateway using the Azure automation runbooks. So the cost optimization is the most important pillar for well architected framework. And the basic principle of cloud is that the resource should be running only when it's in use. So if we'll take an example of application gateway, if it's deployed in the production, then we'll not be touching that. However, there could be application gateway deployed for dev or test environment where your dev team perform the testing before the release in the production. So in that case, those application gateway can be shut down during off business hours or the weekends. So let's go to Azure portal and create an automation for start stop of application gateway. I have already deployed an application gateway with the name AGW dev 001. And if we'll go to the configuration, auto scaling is enabled here where the minimum instance count is two and the maximum instance count is 10. So that means if the application gateway is running, we will be charged for the minimum two instance count. And there are other factors too, which generate the cost, which are throughput, data processing, capacity units, but an ideal application gateway still uses minimum capacity unit for which we are charged. So let's create a new automation account where we'll create the runbook for the start and stop of application gateway. Let's go to automation account create a new automation account. I'll select an existing resource group, RG dev application gateway, dev auto 001, and the region will be Australia East. Next, let's enable the system assigned managed identity. And after the creation of automation account, we'll assign the roles and permissions. Let's leave the connectivity as public. Next, next, and create. Automation account is created now. Go to the resource. Now, before creating the runbook, we'll assign the permissions to the automation account. Let's go to identity. It'll be in the account settings identity. And as during the creation, we enable the system assigned managed identity. Let's go to Azure role assignments, add a role assignment, select the scope. You can select different scopes like subscription, resource group, key vault, storage, SQL. So let's select the resource group where application gateway is lying and provide the role as contributor. Save. Now this automation account has contributor level of access over the application gateway. Let's go back to automation accounts. Go to the runbooks, create a new runbook. Let's name it as stop. App Gateway, PowerShell, runtime as 5.1 and create. And now we have to provide the PowerShell script. So this is the PowerShell script for stopping the application gateway. It requires two parameters where we have to provide the application gateway name and the resource group name. It uses the managed identity where we have provided the permission over application gateway. It imports the AZ module and then get the details about application gateway and then stops it. So let's test this, save and test. We have to provide the application gateway name. Let's go to application gateway, copy the name. And then provide the resource group name. And start. This will take a while to run. And I'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's done. Runbook has executed successfully. As you can see the messages here. Now let's go to application gateway and go to the properties where you can see the operational state and it's showing us stopped. So that means our script ran successfully. Now let's go back to the edit option, publish. Now if you'll see runbook is created and you can run it manually but you want to add it to a schedule. So let's go to Azure automation account and create a schedule. Add a new schedule, name, stop, app gateway. So every Saturday, you want to stop it at around 12 a.m. Create. Now let's go back to run books. 
stop application gateway link to a schedule select it provide the parameters copy the name of application gateway provide the resource group name and okay and if we'll go to the schedules it will show that next run is tomorrow at 12 am in the morning let's create another run book so that we can start the application gateway on the sunday morning 8 o'clock powershell 5.1 version create let's copy the same script so instead of stop let's make it a start start application gateway and save it same way let's publish it and while linking to schedule we can provide the parameters let's go back to schedule create a new schedule start app gateway so monday 08008 o'clock go to the run books sorry start run book link to a schedule link start application gateway and same way we can provide the parameters and by this way both the schedules will be created for stopping and starting during the weekend and this will save a significant cost on application gateway So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.